The revised peace deal in Colombia comes into effect immediately after being approved by both houses of Congress. The country's largest rebel group, the FARC, now has six months to lay down its arms and form a political party. Around 50 changes from the initial plan that was rejected in a referendum now take account of opponents' concerns. Many had thought it too lenient on the rebels. We're committed to working very quickly on the amnesty law for members of the FARC who've not committed atrocities. That's perhaps the first thing we have to do. The new agreement doesn't need voters' backing. Despite the changes, opponents led by former President Alvaro Uribe boycotted the vote, believing the deal still too soft. Last week, President Santos and FARC leader Rodrigo Londoño formally signed the deal in Bogotá. Bringing an end to Latin America's longest insurgency took four years of talks. Over five decades of war killed 220,000 people and displaced millions. The threat of violence in Colombia still remains due to the lucrative cocaine business. Meanwhile, talks with the second largest guerrilla force, the ELN, have been postponed till January.